Alright everybody, welcome to your 38th Google Chrome extension development tutorial. I am Mehul Anand. This tutorial will be continuing with our application which we started in the last tutorial and that is to send your data to server with a Chrome extension and precisely storing it in a database. So in the last tutorial what we did is we just created a simple database with MySQL and with PHP my admin now let's just program the extension first and we'll take care of the backend later on so this is our manifest.json how this would look so this is the name description you already know that browser action you know everything you know so yeah so we need this localhost permission to access a script which will be placing um, which will be sending our data to in with our extension obviously so let's just create our popup.html title is not required and inside body let me just quickly create a form now we have a couple of options we can either just create some input boxes here and with Ajax we can send that on the back end or you can directly make use of form action if you want it's up to you now the form action approach is a little bit easier to implement than the Ajax one but the Ajax one would look good now I hope you guys have enough knowledge to implement the Ajax one yourself so I'm gonna skip that and this so that you guys can implement that yourself so I'm just gonna say localhost and this would be our application name um, let's just say db1 script.php this file is yet to create it's not there and the method should obviously be post now inside here let's just create input type text name name and placeholder your name and an input type text name email placeholder your email okay so let's just scribble break break here and this is our skeleton file how this would look so let's just set this up in uh, the browser okay I guess this is the one and this one is getting started so let's just disable that for the while okay so we have these two input boxes and I guess we are missing the submit button input type submit value go now we can just reload this extension uh, we can just do a little bit of styling as well if you like and we can say input type text and input type just text okay and this should be padding of three pixels whatever you like margin five text line center font size then or 18 and what else I guess that much is good for the text one and I'm just gonna place that here only and for the summit one let's just say the background is black the color is white the border is zero padding is um, 10 pixel 5 pixels and display block margin 5 pixel auto okay so that's a simple application you see right there and we could just create an h1 enter your details to download free ebook 
okay and I guess h1 would look way too big so let's just drop that to h3 okay so let's just reload and here you go so this is kind of our um, simple form we have got here and what we want to do is we'll first of all get these details from user and when the user will press go we want to send these details somehow to this database and this would store these email IDs and name automatically here okay so first things first start with JavaScript script.js I guess we already have that file let's just get rid of that alright so now we need to oh, oh I guess I missed something okay so we already have this form set up we don't need the script we would need the script if we were doing Ajax but since we are directly sending this data to the local host therefore we don't need scripts so I guess I can skip the script section right here so we don't need any scripts because we are directly sending the data to the script.php file with form attribute so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'll be starting with the PHP stuff and we'll be seeing how to set up everything else so till then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you soon